Guys, thanks for uh, coming back, checking out this channel. In today's episode, we're going to be uh, working on the K24. We're going to be grabbing the uh, water pump housing, trying to cut the uh, the idler pulley side off the housing to be able to mock it up onto the K24 to fit the uh, Skunk 2 Ultra Race Manifold. So uh, guys, stick around and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you got derive any content off of here, just please like and subscribe and uh, just stay tuned. start off by taking off this uh, idler pulley off and the tensioner. I'm going to try to strip this uh, water pump housing off so we can get it ready to get the cutoff wood to it and go to town. So stick around guys. Let me uh, try to set this up. Alright guys, so what I ended up doing here, I ended up just positioning the, um, the housing on the water pump side face down and I ended up just grabbing a 2x4 here to prop it right underneath the uh, idler pulley where the idler pulley would be uh, mounted onto. It's pretty flat and sturdy so I'm gonna just uh, grab the cutoff wheel, go to town and just start cutting off the, uh, the top of the, the water pump housing right on the top here. So. Alright guys, yeah man, I ended up having to prop it up on my bench here, my bench can, because just leaving it on top of the table with the wood propped up on it, you know, keeping it level wasn't working. Every time I tried cutting it, the water pump would move all over the place, so I ended up having to secure it somewhere nice and tight so it wouldn't move while I cut the, uh, the top portion of it. So uh, I'm going to try to, um, I got to cut this front portion here. Off the uh, with his breather valve goes, and uh, then I'm gonna start mocking it up onto the engine to see, you know, if I need to trim more or whatnot. So yeah, let me um, let me cut this uh, little, you know, piece off here, and then I'll reposition the camera to set it up so I can be mounted on onto the motor. Uh, give me a second. Cutting the top off of it and this uh, one piece that was sticking out here for the breather that went into the uh, manifold. So I'm gonna just uh, prop it up onto the uh, black here to see if it if it um, clears the manifold. Give me a second. Alright, 
All right, just as I uh, suspected, I'm gonna need to trim the, the tip of uh, of the top of this uh, water composite ever so slightly. It's getting caught, it's hitting this one bolt right here. So I'm gonna try to uh, shave it down a bit to try to clear this uh, this side of the manifold. Oh, there we go. Let me see if uh, it clears it now, guys. Voila, here we go, perfect. Well, all I've got to do is uh, grab this little breather hole. Let's see if I tap into it and um, put a bolt through it and um, yeah, that's it. All right guys, so the tap that I'm using, it's a uh, N12 by 1.75. You know, it'll fit nice and snug in there and you'll be able, you'll be able to tap into it to thread it and just find any uh, on the bolt that's long enough that'll fit right in there to, to uh, tap to close it off. So. nice and snug so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hand bond it and, and you know what now I'm thinking about it the head of the uh, of the bolts all sticking out I don't know if it's gonna clear my uh, my manifold let me try marking up the manifold once more with the bolt on it if not I'll just I'll shave the head of the bolt off and call it a day so give me a second Yeah, it's hitting a bit, so uh, I'm gonna hand the bond it, and what I'll do is I hand the bond it, I'll torque it down, and then once it's torqued down, I'll flatten that one side out to uh, to be able to clear the manifold. Let me um, let me get some hand the bond real quick and and seal this up. You know what? I'm gonna take the water pump back off, just for the fact that I ended up threading it in there. I don't want to hand the bond and seal it because then I wanted to take it off to cl uh, clean up all the uh, metal debris. So you know what, let me uh, take the pump off, or uh, the uh, housing off, and cl clean it up and then I'll, I'll put the uh, bolt on outside, uh, offside the motor. So give me a sec. It's about right right here. You ain't going to need uh, any much more of that. So just put it in now.
just like that guys it's on there so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the uh, the head of this bolt and I'm gonna just you know trim it so it can be level uh, there you go so it could be right level with this flat surface here so I'm gonna just trim the top of that bolt off and then that's it I don't ever gotta worry about it again so Alright, so with that being said, that's what I ended up doing with the uh, bolt. I ended up just chopping like the top top portion of it. And um, yeah, there you go. So now, I'm going to knock it back up, make sure the manifold clears. Once the manifold clears, we'll hand up on the water pump and you know, call it a day. Sticking out too far, it's sticking too far out. I'm gonna just try to trim the bolt down a bit and then uh, see if it fits. Give me a second. So, I know it's a tedious process, but that's what you gotta do if you wanna mount this uh, big boy on. Trimming the bolt head, so that should be it. Let's see. That's it guys, so manifold, it clears it now. All right, so now we're just gonna Honda bond uh, the water pump, Honda bond the block, and um, and mount the uh, water pump housing on. Don't forget, I, I like to, uh, don't forget the uh, rubber gasket, the hole ring that goes around the uh, water pump housing. I like to apply Honda bond both to the housing and the block. Some people do it different, that's your preference, so yeah. Let me uh, apply the Honda Bond. I, I just put a thin layer, you know, I just dab it on and then, you know, layer, wipe it down, you know, to, to a thin layer. That's all 
she wrote, guys. All right, let me uh, put the manifold down, mock it up, and uh, we'll be done for the day, guys. For the Alright guys, manifold's on, that's about it for today's video, you know if you uh, liked what you uh, seen, if you derived that knowledge from it, please like, share, subscribe, and until next time, peace.